If longtime franchise producer Amy Pascal had her way, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's most famous real life couple might not have existed. In a New York Times interview about Spider Man No Way Home and the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the former Sony Pictures Entertainment chairperson warned Tom Holland and Zendaya that working together as more than just co stars might not be the best idea. Hello guys, good day and welcome back to Celebrity Overload. We'll talk about how Tom Holland and Zendaya didn't listen to the producer's advice not to date. So let's get this party started. When we first cast Tom and Zendaya, I took them aside separately and gave them a lecture, Pascal explained. Don't go there, just don't go there. Make an effort not to. The producer, who has worked on every live-action Spider-Man film, has undoubtedly seen her fair share of spidey couples get together while filming. Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst did so in the original trilogy, and Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone did so during the Amazing Spider-Man days. Pascal explained that she had previously issued such warnings. I gave Andrew and Emma the same advice, she explained. It can just make things more complicated, you know, and they all chose to ignore me. Holland and Zendaya were photographed kissing in Los Angeles in July, confirming what fans had suspected for years. Holland eventually opened up to GQ about his lack of privacy with the fellow movie star slash former child actor and how moments like paparazzi photos can erode it. One of the downsides of our fame is that privacy is no longer really in our control, and a moment that you think is between two people who love each other very much is now shared with the entire world, Holland25 explained. Zendaya, who is also 25, spoke to the publication about how the world learned about their relationship and the value of privacy ahead of the release of No Way Home. The threequel has now earned the third largest opening weekend in domestic box office history, with a total of $253 million earned in the United States. The similar sentiment we both share is that when you truly love and care about someone, there are some moments or things that you wish were your own, said Dyer explained. I believe that loving someone is a sacred and special thing that you want to deal with, go through, experience and enjoy amongst the two people who love each other. This is going to sound completely ridiculous, but I swear to you it's true, Tom Holland says. Are you familiar with cognitive dreaming? We've been talking for a couple of hours at this point, and the conversation has veered off into the realm of dreams, as it often does after a while. I tell him I've been having nightmares lately, anxiety. Tom Holland is well versed in this area. He's a terrible sleeper, a sleepwalker, and even a sleep undresser. Four out of every ten nights I wake up completely naked. As it happens, he has a method for dealing with nightmares, and because Tom Holland is Tom Holland, the actor who brought the friend back into your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and is just famously, energetically, and irresistibly nice. He's happy to assist. Like and subscribe to the channel and comment DONE to get a free shout out. Holland, on the other hand, isn't interested in any of that. At the time of writing, No Way Home was the final film on his Spider-Man contract. As we speak in early October, he says there are still a few shots to pick up, some additional dialogue to record, a global press tour to plan, and then nothing. It's very odd, Holland says. I had a job every day for the last six years of my life. Holland is readjusting to life without a mask after spending so much time as a superhero. It's a little terrifying, but it's also a lot of fun, he says. Holland, you see, has recently been thinking about dreams and wondering if the ones he once had the future he once imagined for himself, are still his dreams after all. Holland leaned into his balletic talents when he first made it to Hollywood, with a debut in 2012's The Impossible, followed by small parts in Wolf Hall and In the Heart of the Sea. This approach is written in his nose's subtle S-bend, which he has broken twice, once on the set of The Lost City of Z and once on Chaos Walking. I'm a Duracell battery. I'm the bunny, Holland introduces himself. That determination borders on desperation, whether he's doing backflips as Spider-Man or pulling on fishnets and grinding to Rihanna on lip sync battle. Any time I've ever seen him work, he gives it his all, his Spider-Man co-star Zendaya says. It's amazing to watch. One of my biggest flaws is that I'm a difficult people pleaser, Holland admits. I don't like the thought of people disliking me, so I'll do everything I can to prevent that from happening. In 2015, Holland beat out thousands of other young actors to play Spider-Man in a multi-film deal between Sony, the rights holder, and Marvel. He had a vulnerability and wit, as well as an enormous likability that reminded me of Peter Parker from the comics, Russo recalls. Unlike his predecessors, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, Holland's Parker is still a child, burdened with a burden he finds overwhelming. Holland understood. While most kids his age were still taking exams and looking for prom dates, he landed a full-time job where his co-workers included Robert Downey Jr., Michael Keaton, and Jake Gyllenhaal. Nonetheless, he found a way to incorporate his nerves into his performance. 
As a kid, I was given this piece of advice that was really helpful. If you think about the actual physical feeling of being nervous, it's the same physical feeling as being excited, Holland said. So I've always convinced myself that when I'm nervous, I'm really excited. From his older peers, who arrived not in slow accumulation, but in one disorienting rush, Holland learned both his craft and how to navigate fame from his older peers. Suddenly, he was studying for a master's degree in how to stay on the rails with actors who had fallen off and found their way back. Holland clung to every potential mentor, soaking up everything. Some people told me, you should buy a Ferrari and live in Malibu and live the high life. Some would say, I wouldn't do interviews with chat shows if you don't want to, he explains. I think I found a happy medium. He purchased an electric Porsche. He agreed to everything, press tours, TV appearances, and YouTube stunts. By the age of 21, he had planned out his entire career path, telling Interview Magazine in 2017 in response to Zendaya's questions, the 20-year goal is to be a film director. The goal for the next 15 years is to win an Oscar. In the midst of it all, he was maturing, attempting to be a normal person, or as normal as one can be in the strange crucible of fame, you figure out who you're going to be between the ages of 15 and 21, he says. You can grow up and believe it when everyone tells you that you're the best thing in the world. He found solace in actors his own age, particularly his Spider-Man co-stars Jacob Batalon and Zendaya. Zendaya in particular became his tour guide through his new reality. Having her in my life was so beneficial to my sanity, he says. She's an excellent role model for both young men and women. It's never a bad time when someone asks, can I have a picture? Whereas my first thought was, why are you talking to me? Please leave me alone. Zendaya taught him that fame is also hard work. So he learned to smile for every photograph, hug every fan, and participate in Disneyland meet and greets. Always keep the lights on. As an example, he was recently walking in London when a group of guys began following him and photographing him. Something happened in my life and that really put me in a bad mood, he explains. I was just trying to keep my wits about me when I turned round and told them to go away. A reasonable person might consider this a reasonable reaction to being stalked by strangers. Holland, however, turned around after a few yards and apologised. I have to remind myself that being Spider-Man is more than just having a job, he says later. There are kids who are bullied at school because they don't fit in. And Spider-Man is their f***ing go-to guy, you know? And right now, I'm that guy. That's all we have for today. Thank you for stopping by to watch the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel to watch more amazing videos like this in the future. Everyone, until next time.